taking none. guys it's kayla aka nola k and the saints are now nine and two and still first place in the nfc after quite literally stomping on the denver broncos um before i get into this game i want to say that i feel for the denver broncos organization their team their fans with the whole quarterback situation they had all three of their quarterbacks um got covid and they knew in like less than i want to say like 12 15 hours before the actual game uh just a very unfortunate um i feel for kendall hinton uh the pressure of that um he wasn't even an nfl qb played quarterback in college but then i think he switched to wide, rec wide receiver but uh yeah that that's so much pressure um it's just very unfortunate and i feel for um the whole Denver Broncos team organization and fans. So, first things first, I'm gonna start off with Taysom because I was really hopeful coming into this game that he would have an even better game than the Atlanta Falcons game, which I thought he did pretty pretty well uh, in the Atlanta Falcons game. But um, I was wrong. He did not have a good game, um, to say the least. He was nine for 16, 78 yards. He averaged 4.9 yards. He had one interception. He took three sacks loss of 15 yards um the same stuff that he needed to clean up last week really really showed in this game um holding the ball too long got sacked three times but even when he didn't get sacked um just holding the ball way 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 too long got to get rid of that I heard he was trying to work on his timing when with, with Drew Brees um because that's something he needs to work on there were no deep shots uh deep throws this time so I can't really evaluate that and he just looked kind of uncomfortable, like, a little bit maybe in the third quarter. He, like, the, they were kind of clicking, but nothing to what we, nothing like we saw last week. Um, just looked a little bit uneasy. Uh, I don't know. Um, he threw, he made some bad reads. A um, couple times people were open and he just missed them. Other times there was great coverage by the Denver Broncos defense. But also remember this throw to Jared Cook. Uh, he was in double coverage, but yet he still threw it. And then the interception, I believe, was for Michael Thomas. Um, the pass is okay. could have been better. But, uh, yeah, it's just um, that was unfortunate. But, yeah, that stuff he needs to work on. He just uh, didn't look the best. Um, I heard Sean Payton say in an interview he did exactly what he needed to do. I guess they were playing conserv conservative. He even said, like, he played – for us to not lose the game so I don't know maybe like a game manager I don't really know uh what his plan was Sean Payton's plan was for Taysom this game looks like we were re relying on the run very much um but yeah the chances and opportunities Taysom did have he looked just like it just wasn't there um again holding the ball too long and uh a couple inaccurate passes I think one flew over Jared Cook's head so I remember that one but yeah I gotta work on that um just looked a little bit off but uh again I think maybe this is like Sean's game plan because he said that's my fault don't know if he's taking up for Taysom but we're gonna get into the run game because Latavius Murray had two touchdowns he looked really great 19 carries 124 yards he averaged 6.5 yards. This was just an amazing game for Latavius Murray. Um, he hit the holes. That, that cut where he had the 30-yard touchdown, that nice little juke in the cut, and then just he was gone. Nobody could stop him. That was a nice hole by the offensive line, so uh, good job to them. Um, Alvin Kamara, we're going to assume that he's still dealing with the foot injury kind of resting him he had 11 carries 54 yards still pretty good uh he averaged 4.9 yards so yeah um even though Kamara is not as productive as we like to see him I think if he is hurt or kind of hurt best option is to rest them Michael Thomas is still um Hill's favorite target he had four receptions for 50 yards uh and then everybody else literally got one touch um Traquan Smith one touch Adam Trotman one touch, which was a good um, reception. I think it was like third and something, and he got the first down with the 
good ex extra effort, and I think Traquan maybe got a first down. Manuel Sanders got a little, uh, I think, maybe four-yard pass. Uh, Latavius Murray got a pass. Jared Cook got none, but he was targeted. So that's pretty much it with the offense, but I do want to say without Tron Armstead, he caught COVID earlier this week, and then Andres Pete being out, I thought the offensive line did pretty good. Eric McCoy, CJ Ruiz, Ryan Ramchek, they all did pretty good. Opened up that huge hole, obviously, for um, Latavius Murray, but again, they um, held their ground. But um, yeah, uh, with Taysom evaluating him, uh, he fumbled again. Yeah, caught a break there. Taysom just got to work on, you know, the stuff that I said earlier. Uh, we'll see if Sean's game plan is going to be conservative. We're going to be playing the Atlanta Falcons on the road. They're coming off a huge win against the Las Vegas Raiders. We'll see. Um, I think they had a mix to do with Taysom, of course. He gets to blame, but also the play calling. All right, so for the defense, I'm not going to evaluate too much because um, – all the Denver Broncos offense did was run the ball, which is pretty predictable. But uh, what could you do in that circumstance? But C.J. Gardner-Johnson got his first interception this year. Um, the Broncos QB overthrew, I think, the tight end it was going for. Um, and C.J. Gardner-Johnson made a play on it. Janoris Jenkins also had an interception, and um, he ended up hurting his, I believe it's foot, ankle. Uh, I can't remember. But... Um, he hurt himself, and uh, I heard that it's fine. We'll see later in the week, but I thought Patrick Robinson did a good job. He's been a solid um, kind of backup for the quarterbacks, whether it was uh, Marshawn, uh, Janoris Jenkins. I thought he did pretty well. He's doing pretty well this season, uh, and he did pretty well this game for uh, filling in for him. But um, Quan Alexander, uh, just he's, he's all over the field with – Demario Davis, they're such a great linebacker duo. Um, I mean, Quan has the energy. Uh, he he makes the tackles. Um, I mean, he's explosive, and I think he's doing such a great job considering he just came to the New Orleans Saints. And uh, he ended up um, recovering a fumble, and he almost made it into the end zone, but he ended up getting tackled. But, I mean, it's just that um, that determination he has. He knows where the ball is at all times, um, and it, it's great. We only got one sack. That was from Cam Jordan. And then for tackle for loss, Jenkins got one. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins got one. Marcus Davenport got one. Cam Jordan got two. And Shai Tuttle got one. So, um, oh, and Patrick Robinson got one. So, um, yeah, can't really say much, but I thought, um, you know, we made the plays. The Broncos didn't really get a lot of first downs. They didn't really convert their third downs, which is um, good. So, uh, yeah, um, we'll see next week uh, how they perform. But, um, obviously, I thought they did pretty good. Uh, they did good, but the circumstance with the Broncos, I mean, there really wasn't much of a game plan. But I thought they did pretty good for uh, what it's worth. So we have now only given up one touchdown in the last four games, and that was for the 49ers. Uh, that's an incredible stat. Um, this game, we only gave them three points, which was a 58-yard or something uh, field goal, which they made, of course. Uh, and this game, we really dominated time possession. We had 35 minutes to their 24 minutes around that time. But, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you took anything away from this game. This game is very kind of odd to evaluate and judge, but uh, let me know if you took anything away from this game. And uh, thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Um, it's literally, I keep saying insane, but it's, it's insane. Like, what, like, as there's so many emotions, I, I love talking about the Saints. I love doing this channel. I love responding to all of you guys. And... I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to keep posting and grinding, and you know. But uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, hope you have a great day, a rest of your week. Um, so, yeah, peace and thank you. Well, peace.